Hey friend. So I want to talk to you about some of the conversational artificial intelligence tools that are on the market today. A lot of you are very well aware of ChatGPT, even if you haven't used it, it is very popular, but there are many more available. You may have had a Microsoft Copilot, Gemini from Google. It's one that I really want to call out, which I found incredibly beneficial in my work, especially when it comes to more refined searches and data analysis. And it's this tool that you see on your screen here, which is perplexity. It's really simple to use. You can use it exactly the same way as ChatGPT. So I'm going to give you a quick intro tool on how to use it, why I think you should use it and some of the key features. So let's begin with the simple stuff. This is the homepage that we're on now. So you can see here, it basically says, ask anything, and you can get suggestions on recent news stories if you want to as well, or you can just ask any question. One thing I'd recommend you do immediately is to switch to Copilot. So we switched to Copilot because that refines your searches and gives you a higher probability of getting the answer you seek. Now you can have a paid for version of perplexity, which is about $20 a month, or you can use the free version and you can see here, you get reloads every few hours. What you can also do, which is very interesting, but also good if you're not paying for ChatGPT plus is to attach files. So you can see here, you can attach text, PDFs, images, anything, and you get three of those a day. Now for most people who are just beginning, that's going to be all you need. And it allows you to interrogate data and break down insights. And we'll go into that soon. And then we've got focus. So focus is a really unique feature that you don't see in a lot of these conversational AI models. But what you can do here is you can tell perplexity, where do you want to constrain your searches? So you just want to get academic papers. You can do that. If you just want to generate text or chat without searching the web, you can do that as well. You can look at just YouTube. You can look at just Reddit. So you can really constrain where your searches go if you want to get specific. And I think in the avenue of trying to find the best insights and distill them and create great analysis, that is incredibly helpful too. Now, if you want to make this screen bigger, you can do that just by clicking the plus here and creating a new thread. But what we're going to do now, we're going to jump in. We're going to put some instructions in and we're going to see how this works in real time. Okay, so let me set the context for you here. I have given Perplexity a report that I'm currently working on. I've been using other tools as in ChatGPT, been reviewing the report myself, and I wanted to see how well Perplexity could do. So what I've asked Perplexity once I've uploaded the report is what are the key findings of the report? So what you can see here is Perplexity was understanding the question. It read the file. It then searched the web and it also searched my report <clears throat> and found additional sources to support it. So what you can see from the report, which is here, the file uploaded, this is the answer that I've been given, which I think is quite detailed. What I really enjoy as well, though, is that Perplexity will share sources from where it's pulled its information. So you can see all the sources here. You can do this in ChatGPT as well, but it's not really clear on what their sources are and where they're from. Not as good as this from a user interface perspective. So I really like that. And secondly, what I like with Copilot mode on Perplexity is that They'll ask you follow-up questions. It will give you potential prompts to think about that could help in the work that you're doing. Now you can prompt ChatGP to do this through custom instructions, but this is something that Perplexity does itself. And I think that's a really helpful benefit when you're trying to look at a deeper set of analysis and really either poke holes and stuff or have more critical thinking on the work that you're actually doing. And you can see on the right-hand side, you can search images, videos, generate images, should you want to do that too. So it's just some of the things that I really like about Perplexity. I'm not a salesperson for them. I just enjoy their products. I think you should check it out. There's another great tool in your toolkit in the AI and L&D world. But what I always say is try and limit yourself to a couple of conversational AI tools. For me, I use ChatGPT and Perplexity because they're incredibly useful in the work that I do. Another added benefit of Perplexity is if you pay for the pro version, you can choose a different LLM models that you use. So you can use GPT-4. I think you can use Claude as well or Claude 2. And you can also use Perplexity's own model as well. You can change between those models and some people might find that more beneficial than using ChatGPT. So look, there's plenty of options out there, folks. Test them out, see what works for you. I hope that helps and I'll talk to you in the next one.